Hey guys, what's up? It's Rhett here with another video. I was going to do the reaction to last night's game this afternoon, but big news. Lloyd Pierce is finally fired. A lot of Hawks fans got their dreams. I got mine. Um, and we're 14 and 20. So there's still hopefully time to turn around under Nate McMillan. Hopefully they'll be fired up to play under him. But this is big news. Um, Travis Schlank, I thought they'd fire him at least at the All-Star break, but they fired him a lot sooner. Um, Travis Schlank said he did a lot for the city and everything, but we have high expectations for our team, and he wasn't getting it done. He's 63, I think, and 120 in his time in Atlanta, and which is worse or just as bad as Minnesota's coach when they fired him. It said we started out the year 10 and 9. Since then, we've lost 11 out of the last 15. So, I'm glad this move happened. I thought they'd wait till the All-Star break when we're like 14 and 22. But, maybe they're doing it now to light a fire. They're hoping we can have a strong second half of the year and make it to the playoffs. Um, I will say he got some bad luck with injuries. But also, if you looked at last night, which I'll have a video coming out later tonight, since this is coming up. He didn't know how to stop their zone defense. He didn't have any offense against it. And then they would just do the little run around thing. They would just, the guy with the ball, somebody would run around behind him and there'd be no help defense. They'd get wide open layups all night last night or they'd get wide open threes. And this move happened. It's good because we have Nate McMillan, who's been a head coach, who can take over the leadership roles to finish out the year. I don't want him to be the head coach of the future, but I want him to take over leadership for now and maybe lead this team, maybe lead this team to a playoffs. Um, hopefully should, at least a play in. And kind of say, okay, then we go get a real coach. I'd like to get Mark Jackson. But this is big news. Lloyd Pierce has not been good. I don't know him as a person. I've never met him. I'm not going to say anything about his character but as a coach he's not good he's not a good coach and I know a lot of Hawks fans want him to stay I don't know why because we should keep losing we just keep losing and now we finally have a coach it seems like I've seen Nate McMillan in those games he did coach get on to Trey get on to guys try to hold everybody to a higher standard and Lloyd Pierce kind of just let everybody do whatever they want to do it felt like um but thank you guys for watching. Big news. Let me know what you think. Till next time, peace.